Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Moroccan Mint Tea, a tay. While not a traditional food, the sweet and minty tea is a staple street drink in Morocco, often served with a showy pouring technique. Morocco is known for its rich and diverse cuisine, and its street food offerings are no exception. Moroccan street food showcases a blend of flavors, ingredients, and culinary traditions influenced by Arab, Berber, Mediterranean, and North African cultures. Here are some popular street foods you might find in Morocco. Moroccan mint tea, a tay. While not a traditional food, the sweet and minty tea is a staple street drink in Morocco, often served with a showy pouring technique. Moroccan sandwiches, sandwich marocaine. These sandwiches are made with various fillings such as grilled meat, chicken, beef, or lamb, vegetables, and flavorful sauces, all wrapped in a Moroccan flatbread. Moroccan pastries, brioet, savory or sweet pastries, often filled with spiced minced meat, seafood, or almonds and honey, then deep-fried to golden perfection. Moroccan pancakes, emesiman, a type of square-shaped, flaky pancake often enjoyed with honey or served alongside savory dishes. Moroccan soups, harira, a traditional soup, often enjoyed during Ramadan, made with tomatoes, lentils, chickpeas, herbs, and sometimes meat. Grilled meats, mishui, whole lambs or goats are roasted on open spits, seasoned with Moroccan spices, and the tender meat is often served as a filling in sandwiches or with bread. Moroccan snail soup, babouche, a unique street food found in the evening, babouche is a snail soup seasoned with various spices and herbs, a beloved delicacy among locals. Moroccan grilled sausages, merguez, spicy and flavorful sausages, often made with lamb or beef, served hot and often as a sandwich filling. Moroccan fried fish, makota, a popular snack made from spiced mashed potato and fish, shaped into patties, coated with breadcrumbs, and deep-fried until crispy. Moroccan sweet treats, selu or shabakia, during special occasions, you might find these delightful sweets, such as selu, a nutty and honey-infused confection, or shabakia, fried rose-shaped cookies soaked in honey. Moroccan grilled corn, DRAA, roasted or grilled corn on the cob, often seasoned with spices, salt, and sometimes a dash of lemon juice. Moroccan stuffed bread, argihaif, a flaky stuffed bread often filled with cheese, vegetables, or meat. These are just a few examples of the vibrant and delicious street food you can enjoy in Morocco. Exploring the local markets and bustling streets is a great way to experience the diverse flavors and culinary delights of this beautiful country. Moroccan sandwiches, sandwich marocaine. These sandwiches are made with various fillings such as grilled meat, chicken, beef, or lamb, vegetables, and flavorful sauces, all wrapped in a Moroccan flatbread. Moroccan sandwiches, known as sandwich marocaine, are a flavorful and popular street food enjoyed throughout Morocco. These sandwiches are made with a variety of fillings, often featuring grilled meats, vegetables, and flavorful sauces, all wrapped in Moroccan flatbreads. They are a convenient and delicious option for a quick meal or snack. Ingredients Moroccan bread A typical choice is a round and slightly flattened Moroccan bread, which may be similar to kobes, a type of Arabic bread, or msemen, a square-shaped flatbread. Filling The choice of fillings can vary but some common options include grilled or roasted meats, such as chicken, beef, or lamb, vegetables, such as grilled peppers, onions, and tomatoes, and various flavorful sauces. Sauces. Moroccan sandwiches often include sauces that add a burst of flavor. These sauces can range from spicy harissa, a hot chili paste, to creamy yogurt-based sauces, tahini, or a blend of local spices. Herbs and seasonings. Fresh herbs, like cilantro or parsley, and local spices may also be added to enhance the flavor of the sandwich. Preparation. Grilling or roasting. The meats and vegetables are typically grilled or roasted to develop a smoky and charred flavor. Assembly. The Moroccan bread is often warmed or lightly toasted, then the fillings, meats, vegetables, sauces, and herbs, are carefully layered inside. Wrapping. The sandwich is then wrapped or folded allowing the ingredients to meld together and making it easy to hold and eat. Moroccan sandwiches are versatile and customizable, allowing for a wide range of flavor combinations based on personal preferences. They are often found at street stalls, markets, and casual eateries, making them a convenient and satisfying choice for locals and visitors alike. The combination of the tender and flavorful fillings, the variety of sauces, 
and the unique texture of Moroccan bread creates a delightful and memorable street food experience. Moroccan pastries, brioet, savory or sweet pastries, often filled with spiced minced meat, seafood, or almonds and honey, then deep-fried to golden perfection. Moroccan pastries, also known as patisseries marocaines, are a delightful and diverse array of sweet and savory treats that are an integral part of Moroccan cuisine. These pastries showcase the intricate artistry of Moroccan baking and reflect the country's rich culinary traditions, influenced by Arab, Berber, and Mediterranean cultures. Moroccan pastries are often enjoyed during special occasions, celebrations, and gatherings, and they are a true testament to the country's hospitality. Brioet triangular or cigar-shaped pastries made from thin layers of dough, usually warka or phyllo dough, that encase various fillings, such as spiced minced meat, seafood, or almonds and honey. They are often deep-fried to a crispy perfection. Moroccan soups, harira, a traditional soup, often enjoyed during Ramadan, made with tomatoes, lentils, chickpeas, herbs, and sometimes meat. Harira is one of the most iconic and beloved Moroccan soups. It holds a special place in Moroccan culture, particularly during the holy month of Ramadan when it's commonly consumed to break the fast. Harira is a hearty and nourishing soup that's bursting with flavors, featuring a combination of tomatoes, legumes, herbs, and spices. Ingredients Lentils Often brown or green lentils are used in harira, adding both texture and protein to the soup. Chickpeas Cooked chickpeas provide creaminess and substance to the soup. Tomatoes Tomatoes, often fresh or in the form of tomato paste, are the base of harira, lending it a rich and tangy flavor. Onions. Chopped onions are sautéed to create a flavor foundation for the soup. Cilantro and parsley. Fresh herbs are a crucial component, adding freshness and depth of flavor to the soup. Spices. A blend of spices including ginger, turmeric, saffron, and sometimes cinnamon and cumin, gives harira its distinct Moroccan flavor. Flour or flour alternatives. Some versions of harira use flour or other thickening agents to create a slightly creamy consistency. Lemon juice. Lemon juice adds a touch of acidity to balance the flavors. Meat, optional, while not always included, harira can be prepared with meat such as lamb, beef, or chicken to make it heartier. Preparation. Sautéing. Onions are sautéed in a pot until translucent. Adding spices and ingredients. Spices are added followed by the lentils, chickpeas, and sometimes meat. The mixture is then cooked to allow the flavors to meld. Tomatoes and broth. Tomatoes, sometimes in the form of tomato paste, are added, along with broth or water. The soup is brought to a simmer. Herbs. Chopped cilantro and parsley are stirred in, adding a fresh herbal aroma. Thickening. Some versions of harira involve adding flour or alternative thickeners to achieve a slightly thicker consistency. Finishing touches. Lemon juice and sometimes a touch of saffron are added for enhanced flavor. Serving. Harira is often served with dates and a small piece of bread to break the fast during Ramadan. It can also be enjoyed as a hearty meal accompanied by Moroccan bread. Harira embodies the heartiness and warmth of Moroccan cuisine, offering a comforting and flavorful experience. Whether enjoyed during special occasions or as a nourishing meal, Harira is a quintessential Moroccan dish that brings people together and showcases the country's culinary heritage. Grilled meats, mishui, whole lambs or goats are roasted on open spits, seasoned with Moroccan spices, and the tender meat is often served as a filling in sandwiches or with bread. Mishui is a traditional Moroccan dish that consists of whole roasted or grilled lamb or sheep. It's a celebratory and festive dish often prepared for special occasions, gatherings, and feasts. Mishui showcases the mastery of Moroccan grilling techniques and the country's love for flavorful and tender meat. Preparation. Selection of meat. A whole lamb or sheep is often chosen for mishui. The meat is typically marinated with a blend of Moroccan spices and seasonings, which may include cumin, coriander, paprika, garlic, and more. The spices are applied to the meat to infuse it with flavor. Slow cooking. The marinated meat is usually slow roasted or grilled over an open flame or in a special underground pit called a furan. The slow cooking process ensures that the meat becomes tender, juicy, and infused with the aromatic spices. Basting. During the cooking process, the meat is often basted with a mixture of spices, olive oil, and sometimes lemon juice to enhance its flavor and moisture. Serving. Once the meat is cooked to perfection, it's traditionally carved into large portions and served with various accompaniments. 
These can include Moroccan bread, salads, pickled vegetables, and sauces. Accompaniments. Mashui is often enjoyed with a variety of side dishes and accompaniments, which may include Kobes. Moroccan bread, often used to scoop up the meat and sauces. Charmoula. A flavorful Moroccan sauce made from a blend of herbs, spices, garlic, lemon juice, and olive oil. Salads. Fresh Moroccan salads, such as Moroccan carrot salad or tomato and cucumber salad, provide a refreshing contrast to the rich meat. Harissa. A spicy chili paste that can be served as a condiment for those who enjoy a bit of heat. Olives. A staple in Moroccan cuisine, olives add a tangy element to the meal. Preserved lemons. These briny lemons are used as a condiment and add a unique flavor to the meal. Mashui is more than just a dish, it's a symbol of Moroccan hospitality and celebration. The slow-cooked and flavorful meat, often shared among family and friends, creates a sense of togetherness and joy during festive occasions. Whether served at weddings, holidays, or special gatherings, mashui is a beloved Moroccan tradition that brings people together over the love of food and community.